Oh, see, them stray dogs are in the road. Well, what are you guys doing? Your fur looks a lot better. Yeah, it does. You guys need to quit roughhousing. That's what all them marks on your heads are for. You got a patch out of your back. I know that's what it is. Yeah, they're getting big, man. Say hi, Oreo. Hello, my name is Oreo. I don't got any bad spots on me. There's Dirty Nose. And there's Willie. Willie's always got to have his mug in there. Yeah. But uh, I'll tell you what I've been doing. Oh. That one there, boy. Welcome to the channel. The day after the flood. Just checking on the puppies. They've been having uh, some, like, fur issues. I've been rubbing uh, this stuff a friend gave me. It's called Young Living Animal Scent Ointment. And it stinks, and it's oily, and it take, you got to wash your hands like 50 times. So I gobbed that up on my hands and went in there yesterday and rubbed them all down real good. Uh, she uses it all the time, swears by it, so we'll see. But they need to get out of here, man. They're going to be going soon, I hope. What is in this stuff? Let me get my glasses. Got all the goodies in it. Mink oil, lithothin, beeswax, lanolin. Got all kinds, some kind of sesame seed oil. It's all natural. All kinds of oils, flower oil. Yep. All right. And we, you wouldn't even know it flooded yesterday. Well, who's this? People been wondering if you were still around. Sometimes I wonder, you go hide. Yeah, she's a good girl. You camera shy. She's still here. Well, we gotta go see Waddles, don't we? Where you at, Waddles? No, oh, he likes being on camera. Here he is. There he goes, waddling off. Yep. What'd you say, Waddles? No more broodiness in you girls? That's good. Cause you ain't gonna get nothing out of that boy. Right, Waddles? He don't care. All right, let's go talk, uh, take a look at the patio and talk about some stuff. I didn't get anything done today. I'm just letting the wood dry out. Couldn't paint, still too damp. Uh, this is the board that's gonna go across the top there, like I was talking about. 60 bucks for that thing. I had to buy the whole 20 footer. That's only about 12, we cut it off. Or no, it was 16 foot, I think. Yeah, and this door's not opening real easy. Got the carpet out. If you look over there, it's over my lawnmower. I don't think I'm putting it back in. I don't mind it without the carpet. That carpet's a pain in the butt. But uh, it got about to here. You can see the wet spot still. I had a fan in here earlier drying it all out. I actually cleaned it up real good, so I don't worry about that. Uh, I'll go back out here. It's just a walking, talking video, guys. But I want to do share my thoughts on what's happening. Okay, maybe maybe you guys. It's easy to watch a video and say, "Well, you got to do this and that," but I know what goes on with this land. As you can see, that's all sloped downhill. Okay. Yeah, you could build a retaining wall there. It's still going to get under that. It would take an incredible amount of work. But all of this, and you've seen when I dug this, it's all solid clay for two or three feet down, which means when the water seeps down into here, which it eventually will in a rain like that, it, it, it can only soak in for a few minutes, and then it has nowhere to go because clay is going to repel it back out. All of this in here, I don't know why it's just all clay so I think I'm gonna probably dig a ditch right up there at the top of that hill to prevent any of that It'll probably just dig it from about there on around into the French drain that would a big deep ditch put some gravel in it or something also it slopes down 
this way. You can see where the water ran yesterday. Look at all the dead grass. And you can still see water. That also comes this way, but there was so much of it, the French drain can't handle it all. It works great. What are you doing, Lily? We just couldn't handle it all, you know. This house was built... Let's get away from this air conditioner. This house was built 40 years ago. I had nothing to do with laying it out. I, I, I wouldn't have put it here, I can tell you that. But it is what it is. But I, I will say, in the nine years I've lived here, I've never had a pro We've had a few. When the, the old laundry room was sitting here, it ended right there where, the, where these where the concrete ends and it would flood only because that little cubby hole in there sloped downwards and it would force water down well that's covered with a roof in there now so it's not coming in it's coming in right here this is where it's coming in so i need to work this too and i plan to do that i just don't i, ain't, I haven't got to it you know uh, this is all new back here i have not got to that let's go up top for a minute all right we're up top and uh it's just hard to see on camera i guess uh, you know how hilly this property is i mean you're sloping down this way the corner slopes this way that slopes this way and then it starts going downhill that way so they didn't do a very good job you know the guy was a young guy when he built it probably did the best he could uh, unless you do that professionally for a living, it's it's hard to figure it out. Shut up, dog. Oh, every time we get away from the sun. So, I mean, the only thing that's really flooding is this patio. It's a screening patio. It's not hurting nothing, really. It's treated wood. No, I don't like it. But uh, it, did, it did come in the office a little bit, but not that bad. Uh, I, I could I mop that up with two towels so we'll get them fixed it just takes time you know I can't I'm one man and I did have a subscriber offer to hire somebody to come in here and fix these issues and they were willing to pay for it I'm like no I can't have somebody first of all you're not gonna find anybody here that's reliable that's number one number two you're not gonna find anybody around here that's um, that good <laughs> I would say that has that kind of equipment and I just I've dealt with people locally here and there's good people that help out Russell's one of them in that but I've also dealt with people with the guy with my roof you know he did a terrible job and I ended up having to finish it because the guy never come back and this county is known for people like that you don't ever pay anybody in advance so I just quit doing it I ain't gonna have anyone else because well I don't have anyone else come out here to help I don't you know I'm, that's not what I'm about it's just, that's the whole thing on my channel is I'm by myself doing all these things myself if I really needed help on something I know people would be here but I don't right now so tomorrow I, this stuff's already dry so I've got the here's the two by sixes I went and picked them up yesterday so those are going on top here that that i'm going to whack off i bought a new sawzall blade i'm going to whack that off and these three pieces will cover all of them my starlink dish is coming off and i ordered these poles from starlink about a year ago they go together i'm going to attach those to the outside of that post in the corner and then put that up put the dish on it and that'll raise it up another 10 feet uh, I, I got all the stuff I need to attach it. I'm just going to put some plumber strap around it. I've got some little lag bolts that'll go in, and that won't be part of the porch because that's not going to that's not going to roll like that. And I, can, I have to take it off anyway to put the tops on, so it might as well I might as well put use these poles that I have. They're really really uh, high quality, so they shouldn't go anywhere. That thing hadn't budged and you seen the winds we had yesterday they didn't come off then they're not coming off so over the next few days you know i'm in no i'm just trying to beat the heat get this finished then we'll see how the weather does uh i don't know if it's gonna be hot this year rainy we've had summers here that it rained i remember one it was about five years ago it rained all summer 
I mean, it started in early June and it did not quit until the next spring. Non stop. It was horrible. So, you don't ever know what the weather's going to do. That's anywhere now. It's all different. But I don't know if you can see that tree that broke off there. I thought it was just a little section. Ah, that dude's like 30 feet long. See, I don't know if you can, I'll blow it up on the editing there, but it's laying in the weeds over there. Pretty big oak tree that blew over. It broke off. Although, all three of them, and then the one that forks up, that has forked up there, that one's dead as well. So, it didn't take anything down that was living. Oh, man. It pushed that dude sideways. That was never like that. See where the chair is down there? The one just to the right of it. I don't think that tree was like that. But it was whipping through there. Man. Sure was. Look at them puppies. There's Miss Tilly. What are you doing, Tilly? Alright. We'll come down from here. We'll go visit Miss Rooster. And that'll be it. Where are you going, young lady? You don't got no fleas. You got a Seresto on. <laughs> they don't want your nose up in their business. Here comes Miss Lily. She says, you can't forget me. What you doing, baby girl? You're gonna do that too? Or his brother? He's in there laying up on the bed, isn't he? Here's his sister. She don't gonna give you kisses. Yeah. Rooster loves Miss Lily, don't you? All right, today I did a little more planning. I took, let me see. That is watermelon. I've never had any luck growing watermelon, but I'm gonna try to have it go vertical you know do the little cloth things if it produces any but I've never had any luck with watermelon I got two in there and then I planted spaghetti squash uh, I have had luck with that I've never planted it in a container I planted it up front and the squash bugs come out before you really get too many of them but we'll see how this works I don't know and I planted something there I don't remember what it was though I didn't put a marker there. And these are radishes. And the wildflowers are starting to come up. I believe that's one right there. I'm getting to where I can tell which ones are weeds. Those are wildflowers. And of course my okra. I expect these things are really going to take off here in the next few days. I've just been going through and making sure that they're going up through the cage. This one was blown down sideways. But man, do they smell good. I don't know. Some people don't like the smell of a tomato plant, but I love it. But we're going to have a good year. And uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I got going on in there. I don't see anything in there that even resembles anything. Those are supposed to be bell peppers. And I don't see nothing in there that looks like a bell pepper. It looks like grass to me. So I'm going to give that a few more days and it's I don't well that might be something there yeah that's one I planted one two three four one two three four so though I know the spots unless the seeds floated out which I doubt they did these are hot peppers and look here guys after weeks the Thai basil is finally coming up I don't think that's a Thai basil but these are I've never seen anything around here with them purple leaves like that. And I kind of weeded this out a little bit. Don't know what's going on. I do know that's dill. Uh, that could be cilantro. I'm not sure. Let me sniff on it. Nah, it don't smell like nothing. There's something coming up right there. I'm just going to let that go for a while. When, when the plants do come up, you'll know. And radish is doing good that's cilantro see that's what it looks looks like i think i have some growing over there no that's oregano over there jalapenos are coming up parsley's coming up 
more jalapenos, the dill, and cabbage. I highly doubt that cabbage is going to do any good in there. And then thyme. I don't think I have any rosemary that came back up. Let's go back over here to this one. And what do we got here? That's oregano. And that's sage. And that one's also sage and the rest of it's weeds. And this is parsley right here. That's parsley. Going to seed. So these are these never died. They grew all winter. Through the coldest days we had and they never lost green they just never died now look at them yeah that, that's that's why i like these herbs so all right that's probably gonna wrap it up i see we got some weeds and stuff coming up where these pots used to be that's good get these holes covered up oh let's go we might as well go look at this tree while we're down here yeah that was a good sized tree just what I need, more trees to chop up. Yeah, that dude's 30 feet at least. And as you can see, those are also dead. I need to get these down pretty quick if they come down that easy. Of course, that was some pretty good 70, 80 mile an hour winds at times, I think. And that could have very well been a tornado. I, I noticed in the, we did have a tornado warning. I didn't know that at the time, but uh, Later on, I looked at my phone and seen we had a, a tornado warning here. And then when I looked at the time lapse, it looked like a horizontal rope tornado. And they have those. But it was definitely circulating. We had rotation for sure. So we got lucky there. And then soon after I shut the time lapse off, that's when I was filming that high wind. All right. Well, Miss Tilly, you're the last one to be in the show. Billy Tillerson. I don't know if anybody likes you. She kind of hurt her paw. She's kind of limping. I checked it out and put some lotion on it. It's just like a scratch or maybe she stepped on something sharp. Yeah, you'll be all right. That's what happens when you horseplay with that girl too much. Yeah. All right, guys, I've been behind on the videos, so I got to get some stuff up. Probably be putting one out almost every day for the rest of the month. Uh, I'm way behind on what I usually put out. Got to have that certain amount that I make, you know, for the bills. So thank you all for watching. Happy trails.